day national e workshop on on preparing manuscript for the journal which is organized by moga shiksha parishad a constant unit of moga trust of swami vivekananda lok sense uh, and specially i welcome welcomes to the resource person of this workshop dr manorama tripathi librarian jawala nehru university and also the other dignitaries attending this workshop before going to start this workshop i would like to invite ms kajal mohanty to recite the vaidik mantra samastha mohan namaskar minagatan ज्येष्ठ राज ब्रह्मणाश्रृंगति विस्तृदन ुभ्यो नम हरि शांति 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 थैंक यू मिस मोहंती नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट काइंडली मूव ऑल ऑल ऑफ योर आईडीज सो व्हेन एवर रिक्वायर्ड मींस व्हेन यू आर आस्क टू आस्क द क्वेश्चन यू मे राइट द यूज द चैट बॉक्स फॉर द क्वेश्चन आंसर सो काइंडली डू नॉट allow yourself to on me um thank you so much uh, now i would like to invite ms aishwarya swami to recite the vivek vaani namaskar gumara dhanyavad aur vidyaganand kahi chali je khali petare dharma hue nahi udartha ko dharma katha sunai ba nihati pagalame age khudit pai annara sansthana kariba pai padibo dhanyavad thank you ms swain the moga trust which means my village is a non profit charitable trust in odisha it is an organ of swami vivekanand lok sansad to coordinate and to look after its rural development initiatives in four dimensions uh, education another is empowerment environment and health among them the education wing is organizing this workshop today now i would like to request uh, the chairman of this moga trust uh, dr manjula manjuri mahapatra she is also the principal in rono hills college nirjal arunachal pradesh so now i would like to request her to deliver about the conference and also the welcome address dr mahapatra please डॉक्टर मंगुला मंजी महापत्र माप इनमें देखो ऑप्शन जाना ही ओके सर मतलब मंगुला माप जी को मैं एक सी सर ऑलरेडी जॉइन बट आई थिंक या मंडला मैम जॉइन आई थिंक जस्ट मैडम प्लीज अनम्यूट बोथ ऑडियो एंड वीडियो मंडला मैडम प्लीज अनम्यूट योर ऑडियो एंड वीडियो यस यस आई 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 एम हियर हाय मैडम यू आर हियर डॉक्टर मंडला मंडली महापात्र द चेयर पर्सन ऑफ द इवेंट इज रिक्वेस्टेड टू अनम्यूट हर वीडियो एंड ऑडियो
इति हे देयावनिवत Thank you, Dr. Chinmay Ranjan, the coordinator of today's conference, to give me the opportunity to welcome the dignitaries and the dais and the members present here and the chief resource persons here with us to address the conference. So, first of all, I would like to welcome and honor Dr. Mrs. Monarama Tripathi Madam to this conference as the chief speaker and the resource person of the conference. I come with my heart to grace this occasion in a, in the desirable way. Next to it, I would like to welcome uh, Dr. Minaketan Behraji, the convener of this forum, this program, and all the 16 members of the Mogao Executive Council, and all the members of Mogao Sikha Parishad, and all the GB members of. Our dear and the dignitaries of Swami Vivekananda Lok Sansad, those who will grace the occasion, they will discuss in this platform very intellectually, and they will share their wisdom in this area, uh, in this forum to their great extent. So I welcome you all to this forum on this auspicious occasion, great and good occasion. So from the core of my heart. i welcome all the members those are present here including our participants what i have had uh, in total 825 participants they have registered their name so i am very thankful to them i uh, would like to welcome them and honor them okay next i i would like to uh, speak few lines about dr tripathi madam so dr tripathi madam uh, is a Uh, chief resource person or a dignitary of this forum uh, which uh, at present working as the chief librarian of jawaharlal nehru university new delhi before that she was also working at the uh, document officer i think in jnu and matlab bhu delhi she has been added the best paper award which is to be noted here by all the members present here that He has she has been awarded the best paper writer award or contributor award to the journals by Raja Ram Mohan Library Foundation. So it is a great achievement of Dr. Tripathi Madam. So we have to congratulate her on behalf of the Swami Vivekananda Lok Sansad and Mogao Sikha Parishad. Next to it, I would like to highlight about Dr. Tripathi Madam, Madam that. She has published more than seventy research papers in national, international, scholarly journals and conference volumes. She is a very good presenter and a speaker. She has addressed in a number of forums. I mean, the CC and organized uh, UGC organized orientation program, refresher courses, and she has addressed a lot to a number of scholars. She has visited a number of countries to attend. a number of international conferences her area it is to be highlighted here also to be noted her area of research, research is focus on information seeking behavior of the researchers we have to underline it we have to give focus that she wants to give focus on the behavior of the researcher on information seeking and next to it she is given the focus she has given the focus on innovative library services and scientio metrics so we will discuss in details so in madam will be given the chance to address the public so we'll explain about all these things so after giving brief, brief introduction to uh, the public about dr tripathi madam i would like to go back to our main forum that is our 
शिक्षा परिषद मो गांव शिक्षा परिषद बट बिफोर स्पीकिंग अबाउट मो गांव शिक्षा परिषद लेट मी स्पीक अबाउट स्वामी विवेकानंद लोक संसद अंडर हुईच आर अंडर द बैनरशिप ऑफ हुईच ऑर्गनाइजेशन नाव मो गांव शिक्षा परिषद इज गोइंग टू ऑर्गनाइज दिस वन डे नेशनल लेवल ई व्हाट्सअप ऑन प्रिपेरिंग ए मेन्यूस्क्रिप्ट फॉर जर्नल सो लेट मी स्पीक व्हेरी ब्रीफली अबाउट स्वामी विवेकानंद लोक संसद स्वामी विवेकानंद लोक संसद इज ए स्पिरिच्युअली मोटिवेटेड सोशी कल्चरल ऑर्गनाइजेशन प्रेझेंटली बेस्ड इन ओडिसा आर प्रेझेंटली वर्किंग इन ओडिसा इट इज डेडिकेटेड टू द कॉज ऑफ ऑल राऊंड अँड ऑल राऊंड डेव्हलपमेंट ऑफ द पीपल ऑल राऊंड डेव्हलपमेंट आर ऑल राऊंड डेव्हलपमेंट ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ द स्टेट वी हॅव आयडेंटिफाईड म्हणजे फाईव्ह की एरियाज ऑफ इंटरव्हेन्शन अँड एस्टॅब्लिश फाईव्ह डिफरंट फोरम सच आज विचारधारा फॉर इंटेलेक्च्युअल प्रमोशन ऑफ द स्कॉलर्स देन उत्कल कला व सांस्कृतिक प्रतिष्ठान फॉर फॉर द आर्ट अँड कल्चर विवेकानंद जो संसद फॉर द डेव्हलपमेंट ऑफ द युथ अँड ए लिटरेचर अँड पब्लिकेशन विंग इज ऑल्सो दे आर अँड इट इज गिव्हिंग फोकस ऑन पब्लिकेशन ऑफ डिफरंट आर्टिकल्स डिफरंट मतलब मॅगेजिन्स अँड एक्सेट्रा अँड लास्ट बट नॉट द लिस्ट देर इज अनादर फोरम दॅट इज कॉल ऍज मो गाव ट्रस्ट विच इज एगेन कन्सिस्टिंग ऑफ फोर डिफरंट डिव्हिजन्स ऑफ आय आय कॅन से फोर डिफरंट युनिट्स लाईक एज्युकेशन काउन्सिल हेल्थ काउन्सिल एम्पॉवरमेंट काउन्सिल अँड एन्व्हरमेंट काउन्सिल शिक्षा स्वास्थ्य परिवेश अँड सशक्तीकरण हे चार शाखा को लेके ही बी काम कर रहा आहे सो अंडर दिस मो गाव ट्रस्ट ऍक्च्युअली फास्ट फोरम और फास्ट युनिट इज मो गाव शिक्षा परिषद इन एव्हरी इच अँड एव्हरी मंथ ऑन द फास्ट संडे ऑफ इच अँड एव्हरी मंथ मो गाव शिक्षा परिषद ऑर्गनाइजेस ए नंबर मतलब ए वन प्रोग्राम ऑन इच फास्ट संडे ऑफ इच अँड एव्हरी मंथ सो दिस मंथ वी आर गोइंग टू ऑर्गनाइज दिस पर्टिक्युलर फोरम वन डे नॅशनल लेवल ई वर्कशॉप ऑन प्रिपेअरिंग ए मेन्यूस्क्रिप्ट फॉर जर्नल सो आय थिंक द पार्टिसिपंट्स द स्कॉलर्स द डिग्नेटरीज ऑल द मेंबर्स दोज वी आर हिअर टू लिसन टू प्रोफेसर मतलब त्रिपाठी मॅडम वी विल लर्न फ्रॉम हर हाऊ टू प्रिपेअर आवर सेल्फ मेंटली अँड बिहेवियरली टू ब्रिंग आउट ए व्हेरी गुड जर्नल सो दॅट अँड वी ऑल रिअलाइज दॅट व्हॉट इम्पॉर्टन्स इज गिव्हन टू जर्नल रायटिंग अर अ पब्लिकेशन इन जर्नल्स for the career development of the for the professional development of the scholars i mean the professionals so in that way i appreciate the venture of dr minketan behra the convener of this program to bring out such a very nice proposal nice topic to address to be addressed by dr tripathi madam so i am thankful to the convener convener sir also dr behra ji so next to it since i have been given very short time within 10 minutes i have to matlab wind up my welcome address so last but not the least i think i have uh, spelled out in brief about the banner the uh, great the broad banner of vivekanand lok sansad we know in the language of vivekanand ji swami vivekanand education is nothing it is the manifestation of the perfection already inside or a lying inherent inside each and every man each and every individual so we are trying this vivekanand lok sansad is trying to actualize the vision the mission of swami vivekanand ji to bring out how different dreams will be actualized or it will be made truth with the effort of our youth with the effort of our youth and mogaon trust is giving focus is giving focus to the rural aspect of the rural development of odisha and i hope in future from odisha we will cross the boundary and from odisha we will enter into the international i think the world level activities so that the vision and mission of swami vivekanand ji will be actualized to a great extent and we will offer our honor our homage to vivekanand ji by acting or actualizing their matlab his dreams so thank you all madam tripathi i welcome you and all the members all the dignitaries all the, the matlab 
गवर्निंग बॉडी मेंबर्स ऑफ अवर स्वामी विवेकानंद लोक संसद जी जो आर प्रेजेंट हियर दे शुड बी मतलब डिस्कस देयर दे शुड एक्सचेंज देयर ओपिनियंस देयर विजडम्स दे शुड डिस्कस और इंटरेक्ट वेरी इंटेलेक्चुअली एंड मेक दिस ओकेजन वेरी ग्रेसफुल एंड ग्रैंड सक्सेस सो थैंक यू ऑल आई दिस इज माय वेलकम मॉडरेस एंड नेक्स्ट टू इट आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट द कन्वीनर ऑफ द कॉन्फ्रेंस डॉक्टर मिनकेतन बेहरा जी टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर त्रिपाठी मैडम टू गिव हर ब्रीफ स्पीच या सो थैंक यू मैम now for me i request uh, manorama ma'am uh, to i think i should thanks uh, and uh, i i everyone knows that uh, she is very very uh, expert in this area uh, on this how to publish a paper in this uh, reputed journal so without wasting time so may i request uh, manorama ma'am uh, to uh, give his thought on this issue manorama ma'am please Yes, sir. I'm just starting sharing my screen. Yeah, yeah. You just share your PPT. You want, yeah. So please, and those who are here, so please, to you, uh, whatever questions you have, you just write down all the questions in the comments box. Uh, so uh, we have discussed some times. So, yeah, whatever questions that you have related to that, so you just write down. Yeah. So, ma'am, it is visible. I think. yes. sir my screen is showing yes yes just make it full screen if possible and uh, sir i can't uh, uh, figure out if my video is on my video is on no ah uh, yes video no your view is not on you just video is not on you just make the ppt full screen i think it's all right is it all right now oh uh, no it is only if, uh, the uh, i think it is uh, only very little you make it full screen sir uh, uh, on my screen it's full screen i have uh, so is it uh, so yeah okay you just start i think you just uh, you make your video on and uh, let's start i think it is visible but it is very uh, small letter yeah now it is but, but uh, yeah it's okay let madam start yeah ma'am ma you start yeah so a very warm namaste to the participants and to dr meena ketanwera and dr uh, manjuri for giving me this uh, wonderful opportunity and uh, i welcome all of you to my presentation and i would be spotlighting on how to prepare a manuscript for a scholarly journal so at the very outset i, uh, I it, it's important for all the participants to know what is the relevance of this topic why do you need to invest time on a sunday morning on this topic so as we all know uh, for research scholars or uh, publication is a mandatory requirement that means before you submit uh, your thesis for evaluation and award of degree you need to have a publication in a peer reviewed journal secondly not only as a researcher even if you once you settle down once you join as an assistant professor or start your career even then you need to have publications that means publications are a mandatory requirement your recruitment your appointment your promotions uh, whenever you apply for grant whenever you submit a proposal everything of yours in your career is linked to to publications which you have that is why you should know about the art of writing how to prepare a manuscript another reason which is important for all of for all of us to understand is that we undertake research to address some problem which the society or the mankind faces so we undertake research we arrive at a set of results to address that problem and then once we arrive at a set of results we want we want to publish we rather we should publish the research findings because it's important for others to know your uh, it's important to uh, for others to know what research findings you have arrived at in order to address the problem which the humanity 
or which the mankind or society faces. Further, it's also important whenever we undertake research and whenever we arrive at set of results, we want others to read about our research. We don't undertake research to hide it in the drawers, to hide the research findings in the drawers. No, we certainly don't undertake research for that. We want wider reader audience. We want wider readership for our research work. We want visibility. We want recognition for the work which we do. That is why we publish. And there are different ways of communicating or disseminating our research results. What are those ways? Either we can publish a book, or we can publish a chapter in some edited book. We can disseminate, we can communicate our research findings through a journal article, through book, through book chapter. These are different publishing outlets through which we communicate, we disseminate our research results. And as we know, journal articles or journal is a very commonly used publishing outlet for disseminating research results. Further, we also, we should also know, we should understand that research or science is all about communication. That means we need to communicate, we need to disseminate the work which we do. That is why it's very important for you to know, and uh, I think we all know the famous, you know, way which we say, publish or perish. That means if you want to survive, if you want to, uh, if you want to have visibility, if you want to be well known in your field, you should publish. Otherwise, you will slip into oblivion. This is what is meant by publish or perish. So my presentation will uh, will focus will uh, will focus or will spotlight the different components of a manuscript and what are the important things which should be kept in mind while we are preparing a manuscript. So as we know, manuscript is uh, is a manuscript. What do you mean by a manuscript? Manuscript script is in fact it's an original copy of a book or article before it is published. And what is a scholarly journal? Scholarly journal means a journal or a periodical, a journal or a periodical uh, which is meant for specialized audience. For example, you may have a journal uh, like a scholarly journal is meant for a specialized audience. That means they are experts in their field and they are uh, well versed with the background information. For example, you have so many scholarly journals in sociology, in history, and in science. Uh, sorry, madam, for interruption. Um, uh, yes. Are you on the first slide or you are moving here? It is. No, sir. I have not moved because I have just. I am setting the background. Okay. You know, fine, it's fine. important for the audience, for the participants, to yes, know but... what is the relevance of this topic. And then, in contrast to the scholarly journals, you have popular magazines or popular journals, uh, periodicals like India Today, Now Need, and so on, and so forth. So importance of the topic, what is the relevance? As you know, UGC notification, as per UG, uh, UGC notification, publication is a mandatory requirement. Then research is for communication. That means you undertake research to disseminate its findings. You certainly don't want to hide your research. And then writing is an essential skill for all researchers. researchers they undertake research, then they report research, and this is how uh, a, a development or any field evolves. Then why do we uh, 
uh, why do we undertake research or why do we publish? Because we want to acquire funds, we want to get grants, or we want to secure a job because our, even our appointments, our recruitments are all linked to number of publications which we have. And then, of course, uh, publishing research findings because research findings are there to be disseminated and not to remain hidden in the drawers. This is UGC promotion of academic integrity and prevention of plagiarism in higher educational institutions regulations. And these are <coughs> regulations for all students, faculty, researchers, and staff of all higher educational institutions. And they emphasize these regulations, emphasize upon ensuring and maintaining academic integrity. They spell out, these regulations spell out that there should be honesty in proposing, performing, reporting any activity. Then I'm just referring to these regulations because all these regulations are important for all research scholars. They should know, they should be well aware of all these regulations and policies which are there in place. This is another document, Good Academic Research Practices. This is a guidance document which has been published by UGC in 2020. And this is a must read for all research scholars and supervisor. This is a guide uh, for a guidance document, document for academic and research practices. What does it specify? It specifies, it spells norms, rules, and procedures to be followed in each and every stage of research, whether you are in the stage of designing, formulating, or a formulation of hypothesis, or whether you are undertaking actual research, then data analysis. That means this document spells what should be the procedures, what should be the norms, which need to be followed by researchers in different stages of research. And then why I'm showing, because this document also specifies that after conducting your research, dissemination of findings is also very important. Then it also spells that choosing the right journal is important. That means when, when, when you have completed, you have researched, you have arrive at set of results, then it's important for you to disseminate the research results. And then for disseminating the research results, you should choose the right journal. That is why it's important for you to know about why do we emphasize, why are we emphasizing about the uh, upon how to prepare a manuscript? This is important. Then where to publish it? That is also important. Now, what is a manuscript or what is how to, uh, how to prepare a manuscript? So what is a scientific paper? A scientific paper or a scholarly article, journal article, all these are uh, terms which are used synonymously, is the most effective medium through which ideas, knowledge and opinions may be shared among the researchers and scholars. And why publications are important? Success at publishing is used to evaluate scientists, faculty members, and what are the parties involved? Editors, that means when you submit a, a manuscript to an article, to a journal, who are involved? Who are the different stakeholders? They are editors, that means first you will send your manuscript to an editor. Then who else will be involved? Then editor will send it to the reviewer. The reviewer will review your manuscript. Once it is reviewed and published, then readers will, or audience of your field will read it. And then, other researchers and other peers will use your work to further build their work on your work. 
and this is how knowledge frontiers of knowledge uh, are extended So a well uh, structured manuscript sir my screen is visible well structured manuscript yes yes visible visible so a well structured manuscript what does it do it creates interest among readers and why interest is uh, is required because interest among readers need to be created because once interest is created then only they will read the full text understand verify and use and what is the role of journals or journal articles for researchers journals or journal articles are permanent record journal articles are the final output of most research performance of researchers and faculty members is just uh, the number of publications it's important for all of you to uh, pay heed just by the number of publications as well as where they get published that means you should have number of publications and it's equally important that you should publish you must publish in the Uh, reputed journals of your field in the core journals of your field and what is the basic function of a journal article there are four functions registration that means once you publish a journal article you register the claim you register the claim that uh, for what you register the claim of what you are reporting in your article this is what is meant by registration that means to journal article you register the claim for the work which you have performed that you that is it means that you are first to you claim that you are first one to report this you claim that you are first one to talk about this about a particular uh, concept or phenomena or whatever you are talking about in your article then second function is certification it certifies that your work is certifies means it's your work is being validated how does your work get validated because your manuscript is not published and once you submit it doesn't get published as such rather first the editor sees it and then if he finds that your uh manuscript is good enough is uh, is sweet enough to be accepted uh, then he sends it to the reviewer and why does what does a reviewer do a reviewer reviews your full text that means he evaluates the reviewer evaluates scrutinizes your manuscript what does he do in evaluation and scrutinizing in scrutiny that means a reviewer sees it that whatever you have done is good enough to publish the math methodology you know methodology of any work is very important the methodology which you have adopted in your work is good is robust enough and the findings which you have reported in your manuscript the findings are in sync with the methodology which you have which you have adopted and your work adds to the field that means your work extends the boundaries of knowledge and then he also sees your uh, manuscript is also evaluated uh, to see if the language is language you the language we are which you have adopted is a standard one it's good then your manuscript is also eval is is also evaluated to ensure that there is originality in your work and then it, it all these things are done in order to ensure that your work is final definitive fit enough to be cited by others all these things happen 
in and when once all these things happen that uh, your article gets published and it is certified that means once it is published it is validated that you have done some work which is good enough then third function is dissemination as you know dissemination means communication that means spreading the findings to global audience third function is dissemination that means through journal article your research findings they find readers they find global audience and your uh, um, uh, findings reach audience or people acro uh, across the globe and then archiving that means what what does it mean archiving means the journal article is available is a permanent record of uh, of knowledge is a permanent record of literature and it is going to be there for all future generation of researchers for posterity that means once your work gets published in a journal it becomes a permanent record and future researchers will refer to your work and build their work on your on your work so these are the four basic functions of a journal article and in writing a scholarly paper what do we do there are uh, there are uh, basically four main phases which you follow four main stages which you follow and first one is prepare you prepare a manuscript then what do you do you submit it then publish and once it is get published your job doesn't finish over there you need to promote your work as well mom slide is not moving uh, which slide do you see right now well uh, structure manuscript uh, you can't see writing a scholarly paper you have to browse and collect full text you don't see which screen do you see now Writing is you have to browse and collect full text from various journals and books. Is it showing? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma ma We're writing a scholarly paper. You have to browse and collect full text. This you see? Yes, now it is showing. Can you show, show the previous slides also? Uh, oh, okay, okay, because uh, I it, it was visible on my screen. Okay, and one more thing is while sharing, can you share the full screen so that it will? No, show if, the full when screen? I as uh, as I uh, you know yeah, click on F five, uh, uh, it's it's full screen on my screen, but then I uh, learn that you can't see full screen, so that is the problem. Uh, Professor Tripathi. Uh, could you just could you just uh, uh, close it and once again you can uh, okay i will it. stop sharing this is I what you said i think that will be better i'll do it right away right away just you share uh, this only uh, uh, this window dot enter screen you just uh, a window yes yes same thing is, is it showing now no. after showing the after you when you click on the f5 when it is in full screen while sharing you select the full screen one then it will show the full screen while sharing so yeah, once again i should stop sharing no 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 once again you can click on that sharing button up arrow button there you can select a window in that window you can see the full screen i have the i have followed the steps which you have just mentioned yeah in that you can see the full screen not the ppt where all the slides are showing so you can see my screen full screen now no 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 just press f5 f5 i have already pressed then you just change the percentage there if possible then just 
जब जस्ट परसेंटेज इंक्रीज द परसेंटेज हम्म यस मैम दैट वुड बी बेटर इफ यू otherwise you proceed on like that but it should you should scroll it because we are in the one slide only when you are scrolling other slides are not coming it is not scrolling uh, in madam screen uh, system she should not press f5 madam madam let sir the bottom right hand corner there is also a slide slide view complete slide view uh, icon you can also press on that it's clearly visible to all of us no need to full screen it yeah so we should continue i think this is good idea we should not waste time manorama are you there you just whatever you are showing just you show it and you just change the slide manorama are you there maybe there is some technical problem manorama are you there uh prakya mom is there or not so one second no mom is not there sir mom you are not in the link na you are not visible yeah so is there any problem sir she might be facing some problem so it will be better if you can okay. call her her mobile join ek bar join kariye exit kar raha hai sir i think uh, i think ma'am is not there so it's better no, to call her sir is talking on the call yeah, i yeah, think yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so i think uh, चित्त भाई आर यू देर चित्त भाई बिकॉज वी है आई थिंक वी है बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दे आर नॉट अलाउिंग दी आई थिंक चिन्मय मैम जस्ट मिनट जस्ट मिनट मैम यार नाम जो कम गया मैम यू जस्ट यू वन मिनट यूर सेल्फ Mom, yes, yes, yes. Mom, you are not audible. Mom, you are not audible. Just on. Uh, yes, yes, yes.
not not audible mom you on mute fast on mute there you on mute and speak Yes, ma'am. Is it audible? Speak. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, speak. Yes, yeah, speak. Yeah. Now speak. Whatever you just show it, and you just speak. That is no problem. You just change the slide. Yeah. Yeah. We are now saying. Yeah. You just. Uh, yeah. You speak. So while starting, how? What do we do? You have to browse and collect full text from various journals and books. When you are starting to, uh, you know, how do you prepare a manuscript? first you need to uh, first you need to read about the published literature of your field how will because uh, in research what do you do you read the published literature in your field and then you identify the gaps what are the gaps in the uh, uh, work already done in the work already reported so when you identify this gaps then you take one of those gaps to address them so you have to browse and collect full text from various journals and books what are the right uh, what is the right place to start with you should know about different uh, databases of your field you should know about scopus which should know about web of science which provides you um, which provides you uh, information about the different journals of your field so these citation or abstracting or indexing general databases are the right place to start your work from because you cannot start research abruptly you need to know what others have already done in your field so citation citation and indexing databases abstracting data databases you should know about full text databases then you must read assimilate understand and generate your own content so it's important for here uh, at this juncture it's important for you to know when you make use of all these databases online resources and say full text then you must use right from the initial stage of your research you must use various tools and techniques which are there to help you to facilitate you in your research journey uh, when i say you must use these databases and when you uh, when you uh, download then what happens you must use some uh, some reference management tool like mendeley or zotero because these are tools where you can save your full text naturally you need to have full text you can save them you can create folders sub folders then further subfolders according to the themes and sub themes you are working in you can save them right from the initial stage and then you can read you have you should read assimilate understand and generate your own content then as a researcher you must understand that libraries have tremendous importance for your uh, work for your research work you know governments across the country and i'll say around the world spend millions and millions of money on libraries on procuring uh, uh, print resources on procuring online resources so you must make optimum use of the resources of the library which is there in your university or college and let me uh, underline over here that libraries have importance as place as physical place as they offer as they offer as they offer place based and access based services place based means for print resources you can walk in you can sit over there and use them and you must understand the importance of perambulating among the shelves that means if you go to a library if you go to the section where current uh, journals where current issues of journals are kept and if you move and browse the shelves or if you just read the toc of the issues where issues of the journals even then you will pick up a lot you will learn a lot because when you see the toc toc 
uh, you will find titles I and mean, even titles are one line abstract they provide you enough information so libraries as physical place and when you move among shelves when you perambulate among shelves you will come across many new books which you did not know uh, of before coming to the library and access based services means that means uh, uh, all online resources for which your library gives you username and password and which you can use while you are off campus which you can use while you are traveling which you can use from the comfort of your home so uh, the message takeaway of this slide is that you must as a researcher you must make, whether you are a new whether you are an early career researcher or whether you are a senior professor i think libraries have tremendous importance for all so you must use libraries so this uh, why do you need to use library? Why do you need to use abstracting and, uh, and indexing databases? Because you will not start your research abruptly. You need to know about what already experts have published because you will build your work on the already published work. So I think most of you use Google Scholar. And if you see below the search box, you will find it's written, stand on the shoulders of giants. What does it mean? It means that you certainly don't start uh, writing your research, but you read, you assimilate, you understand, then you generate your own ideas. That means you work on the you build your work on the already published work or on the already published literature. That is why reading, understanding, assimilating, understanding, synthesizing, and generating your own ideas is important. So what are the, now coming to, what are the structure? What are the different components of an article? First, everybody knows its title. Then you have next component, which is byline. Byline means below the title, you will find names of authors who have contributed their names, affiliation, and this ORCID ID. Byline means it includes names of authors and contributors who have contributed to the, to the development, to the writing of manuscript. And so, uh, and it's important that only those names should be included in the byline who have the uh, only the names of those authors or contributors should be included in the byline who have contributed significantly in the writing of the manuscript. It should not be that you are writing the name of your friend just because you expect him to write your name when he writes a paper. Then another important thing, take away from this slide is, I request all the participants, all the researchers to create an account in ORCID. Because uh, for all researchers, it's important to have, rather it's mandatory to have a couple of peer reviewed, pub, uh, peer, uh, a couple of publications in peer reviewed journals. And most of the journals have started asking for this offset ID. It's important for you to know too, that uh, while you are submitting to, uh, to journals, uh, they, you, don't, you don't submit to any email ID. Uh, by and large, most of the journals, or I would say 98% of the journals, they have a submission portal where you are supposed to create an account and upload your manuscript. So most of the journals, and at right now, I recall uh, Sage Journal and Taylor and Francis Journal, which also ask for or said ID. So take away from this slide is that you must create an account in ORCID, O-R-C-I-D, you can note down. Then we have an abstract, then we, uh, uh, the, we have keywords, we write introduction, then review of literature, we have method of study, data tabulation and presentation, discussion and conclusion.
then we have after discussion and conclusion then we are supposed to give references you know references are very important you are supposed to give index citations that means when you are writing and you are referring to some other author you are supposed to give a reference to it you are supposed to cite that author and there are different ways of citing and then what do you find after references you have data files it's important for all the researchers to take care of the data files which they generate while they are undertaking their research work data files i underline because uh, all the research journals they ask for all the raw data which you have used for developing the manuscript so all the data while you are going to uh, feel, you are conducting field work or whether you are performing experiments you should maintain all data which you generate all log files which you use uh, all log files should be maintained properly all work should be properly documented and raw data should be properly maintained why it is important because when you submit to journals then they specify that all underlying data should be provided at supplementary files or it should be deposited to some open access repository or if they also mention that all the raw data or all data set should be should be maintained if, uh, till 5 years uh, uh, after publication then it is also important for you to know that if you are applying to uh, icssr or if you are applying to any fund fund granting body and you are preparing a proposal then you need to write about your data management plan that means how will you maintain your data sets how will you maintain and it is very important in social sciences if you are going to field work and when did you go even if you undertake if you even if you undertake and uh, adopt any research method even if you are uh, going for or you are using observation or questionnaire or interview then the data which you generate should be carefully maintained should be carefully documented because all fund granting bodies expect you to mention about your data management plan all journals want you to talk about to mention your uh, uh, to provide your data files where, as supplementary files or deposit them in some open access repository but it should be there otherwise your manuscript will not be accepted and let me tell you it is very important for you to know even if you get published and somebody asks for uh, your data sets and if you don't provide data sets even then your article published article can be retracted that is why these things are important for all of you to know and then participants it's very important for you to know that that when if you are whenever you are planning to submit a particular manuscript to some particular journal you will always find a, a small tab over there uh, instructions for authors then instructions for authors should be read very religiously between the lines before you are submitting your manuscript to that target journal you know these are very simple petty points but which should be uh, which you need to know about and which you need to adhere to while you are preparing your manuscript you know title is the first and the most important component because title is something which is read the first by the audience or by the readers uh, of the field title gets audience reading the paper because if title is impressive it will certainly make an impact and title is the initial impression it should be simple concrete concise and meticulous 
It should be able to attract the readers and arouse their interest to read the full text. Most important part should come first. A second part may not appear in the search results. Search engines look for words in titles, abstract keywords to retrieve papers. So importance of the words in accessing and retrieving is being underlined. Short title and then running title. It appears in the head and footer of the rest of the pages. I think I'm making sense. Title is very important and it should not be, you know, you should not put title or you should not title your paper very casually. You should keep in mind important keywords and you should, uh, uh, the message over here is that you should take an effort to title your paper. And sometimes the uh, uh, journals, they specify that your title should be limited to some 25 words or 20 words. Uh, that means there is a word limit. Then after title, you have byline, names of authors, affiliation, or an or said. And uh, authorship is very important uh, because at times it has often been seen that authorship becomes controversial even after if the uh, 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 even after the pay, uh, 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 authorship becomes controversial or it becomes a matter of contention even after the paper is published. So authorship includes researchers who make considerable contribution to work. And authors, all authors listed in the byline are accountable for the published work. The authors who have contributed to the design, analysis, or interpretation of work, or in drafting, or and all the authors mentioned in the byline should have give final approval for the manuscript to be published. And all the authors are responsible for accuracy and integrity. It's important for you to know about these things when I said contribution to the design, analysis, or interpretation of work. Because most and nowadays, most of the journals, they want their authors to specify their roles. Science journals do it. Library science journals do it. And... I think if social science journals don't do it to, today, tomorrow they will follow suit. So if you are collaborating with other authors, with other colleagues of yours, you must define their, your roles right from the initial stage. You see, you can see on the screen, this is an example where you see authors are, uh, they are defining, they have defined their roles. First author, then roles, formal analysis, investigation, methodology, validation. Then second author, conceptualization, data curation, formal analysis. So that is why this is an example to show you that if you are working, roles of different authors should be very clear. This is another, uh, this is uh, 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 ORCID ID and it means, you know, you do research work and then uh, uh, you apply for different positions. Then how does this ORCID help you? It helps you in making your uh, work which you have done visible. For example, maybe you are in uh, in Urisa today and you have worked in an area, in a res particular research area. Tomorrow when you come to, you may join any res in university in, uh, in New Delhi or maybe tomorrow you may join JNU. So what happens? All of your work which you have done in a university in Orissa and all your work which you do even after joining JNU, all should be visible under one umbrella. There should be no confusion. There should be no ambiguity. Maybe your name is A.K. Mishra and maybe there is someone else by the same name. So your work should not be, uh, nobody else, uh, no one else should get 
uh, uh, recognition for your work and all of your work should be visible if you have a unique ID. So that is why this unique ID is very useful, very relevant for all researchers because it removes all disambiguities, all ambiguities with associated with names and affiliation. And at the same time, it helps you in updating your CV, in updating your resume. So that is why, take away, please create an account. Then while you're preparing your manuscript, then right from the initial stage, you must have an account in your, in, <laughs> in some reference management tool, because these facilitate you in, uh, you in, uh, in your work, right? Uh, you can save full text, you can create different folders and subfolders. And these, tech, uh, these facilities help you in formatting your work, <coughs> in generating bibliographies. For example, if you use, what is the advantage? If you use uh, this, and if you have created, uh, some, created a, prepared a manuscript, you have submitted to a journal, which uses APA style. So if you have uh, used this, what will happen? If, if, if in the first attempt your manuscript gets rejected, you plan to submit to another journal which follows not APA but MLA style. So what will be the advantage? The advantage will be you can change from APA to MLA within a, simply by a mouse click. But if you do it manually, you will have to spend hours and hours of your precious time in formatting the bibliography, in formatting the index citation. So this is the advantage. Another advantage is as long as you are there in career, if today you are a research scholar, tomorrow you will become an assistant, then associate, then professor, then senior professor, and all full text of yours, which you save right from the days of your PhD, will be there till you become a professor and a senior professor. So these are the advantages. So you must use these tools right from the initial stage of your work. Then abstract, what is its relevance? Researchers read the abstract of a research paper before deciding whether to read the full text or not. So it's very important for all of you to know that abstract is the most read part of any article. It should provide a snapshot of the whole text, a condensed version of a scientific research, and must be understood independently of the rest of the article. An abstract gives an overall idea of the article to the readers and conditions and influences their decision to continue reading or not. It should be properly worded because after reading the abstract, what happens as a researcher? First, you go through the abstract. And when you find it's relevant to your, uh, to your area, then only you read the full text. It should have key information, and most of the journals also mention word limit, was, which must be adhered to. And an effective abstract should be discoverable through search engines. As search engines use algorithms to rank the results for the search input. The author should identify the keywords of the research and use them in the abstract. And while you are writing, you know, uh, at times, uh, journals specify that you should give, uh, prepare a structured abstract. A structured abstract means the, uh, an abstract, uh, a structured abstract has all these components, purpose, then you will write the purpose of this paper is. Method. The methodology adopted in this paper was this result and findings. You write the findings. The present paper reports the that so many people, 50% uh, of the women are not interested in taking up household work. So all these findings you report because uh, they clearly want the paper wants uh, the journal wants you to state the abstract to write the abstract through these components. 
so if the paper uh, if the journal mandates the writing of abstract through these components then you must use these components but even if the uh, journal does not uh, mandate uh, using these components and then if you are supposed to write to uh, an abstract then the idea or the message over here is that you must keep these components while you are preparing an abstract i think message is loud and clear then abstract should be accurate honest reliable discoverable and you should avoid long sentences too many abbreviations undefined technical terms jargon incoherence superlatives extrapolation and over generalization then title and abstract are important because they are first contact of reader with full text drafting should be careful and this is important i repeat final version you must give some title and you must prepare an abstract but once you are through with the uh, manuscript that means once you have finished writing your manuscript then final version of the title and abstract should be prepared then keywords keywords are expressions or terms which specify which highlight or which spotlight the main aspects of the study they should be discoverable specific and not vague so participants it's very important for you because keywords are the important terms they are the important concepts uh, important phrases which are which are there in the full text so you must not use you must be cautious you must be alert while you are uh, uh, giving keywords to your full length paper why is it important because this is uh, please pay attention uh, all the participants you must ensure that you are defining you are using those keywords <coughs> which you have not used in the title which you have not used in the abstract i repeat because this is important and this provides discoverability to your work while you are defining keywords for your work be be cautious be alert and use these those keywords which you have neither used in in uh, uh, in your title nor have you used them in your abstract why is it important because you know we do research because we want others to to discover it to use it so when your uh, your full text is published and then when it is indexed then these keywords are important because these keywords will be used by the researchers in retrieving in searching and retrieving your keyword in your work so use those keywords which you have neither used in your title nor in abstract because Uh, what happens when search engine will run then uh, uh, they will discover the keywords which you have used in title which you have used in abstract and which you have given your uh, used in uh, used as keywords separately so message over here is that this should be you should not just uh, uh, casually write keywords but ensure that you are using those keywords which are there in your full text but which we have neither mentioned in uh, title nor in abstract because that because this uh, this tip will facilitate more uh, you know this tip will facilitate discoverability of your work so what is introduction introduction sets the scene by putting the context of your search it provides some background information so message over here is follow inverted pyramid that means give general background information information then provide specific information of the research objectives and hypothesis then what is the status quo in introduction we write what is the problem why does it need to be addressed or handled and how do you intend to address the problem in a nutshell in introduction you spell out what will you do in the subsequent paragraphs then review of literature 
you identify this is important you identify the important keywords of your domain use them for conducting search you may identify certain themes or sub themes give paras and sub paras of themes and write about the previous studies under the paras let me tell you uh, can we ma'am please uh, can we can you move uh, one slide back please hame samajh nahi yes faster introduction what Thank is you. the pro what is the problem why does it need to be handled in introduction what do we write what exactly. is the problem why does it need to be handled and addressed and how do you intend to address the problem that means in brief you will talk you will mention what you are going to talk of in detail in the subsequent paras in introduction you write in brief what you are going to talk in the succeeding or in the subsequent paras review of literature i just want to tell over here that uh, while we uh, you know while most of us write uh, review of literature in our, in our uh, initial stage then what do we do sharma said this uh, uh, sharma 22 said this 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 that means it simply is a string of uh, a, a string of different studies no that is not the right way if you have read the published literature of your field then you should try to identify themes and sub themes and then under themes and sub themes you talk you should talk about the different studies that means it should not be a string of uh, string of different studies but the findings of different studies should be uh, should be interwoven into the fabric of full text it should not be strings it should not be just uh, sharma said this tripathi said this and so on so forth your review should not be a series of statements of previous works or authors it should be interwoven that means you should write under you must identify themes and sub themes and then write then uh, another important point is that the end of the research of uh, re 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 review of literature you should summarize important trends which you have observed the gaps which you have ident identified and one important thing you must remember that that in review of literature you must provide the latest reference for example you are working in any field say example you are working in uh, social psychology and you plan to submit a manuscript uh, a review of literature or any manuscript of yours in uh, say july 2022 20, in july 2022 so uh, you have prepared a manuscript Uh, say, say you prepared your manuscript last year and you forgot and then uh, you got engaged in other things you were bogged down with so much of uh, work and then you suddenly discover that you had prepared a manuscript and then you plan to submit it uh, in uh, in say july 2022 so while submitting manuscript you must ensure that you have referred to couple of studies of 2022 in your review of literature why this is is important because when the editor sees the, your work then he will understand he will he understand that uh, you have you are updated with the latest developments with the latest studies with the latest trends of your work so this is very important take away from this slide is that you must include the latest reference in your review of literature ma'am ma'am yes could you, could, could you show the previous slide yes yes sir yes no so in writing one question yes please uh, so while writing the uh, review uh, we need we need to uh, divide the uh, review into different themes and give paragraph to each theme jose 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 if you just uh, let them uh, uh, finish first then okay, we will okay. i think we will okay. go for discussion okay. huh? okay yeah ma'am i you just finish first huh? so we will go for whatever the question you have just write down so ma'am will i uh, explain everything you see methodology of any study is very important be it sciences or social sciences uh, 
or library science or management science or whatever it is method of study is very important what does it uh, show what does it signify what kind of data or material are you using how did you get the data how did you analyze the data tools and techniques in enough information for the reader to understand how the study was designed and conducted to address the research question then in this method of study only you cover research questions objectives hypothesis time time is a very important you must mention when the data was collected and so and so on so forth why method of study is important because and while you are writing method of study you must provide enough details for the readers to repeat the study it's very important for all of you to know that replication of research results or reproduce reproducibility of research results is very important and this replication of research results or reproducibility of research results is a characteristic of a characteristic feature of any research then data tabulation presentation findings analysis and discussion then findings you analyze the reason then you give previous studies no you should not only prepare tables and run test and write the uh, what uh, what uh, what is generated by uh, the software but you must analyze if they must and, and when you are analyzing you must refer to the previous studies what do they refer to what do they uh, <clears throat> suggest what do they uh, what were their research findings and this is important for you to understand that you must not only give those research findings which corroborate your your results rather you must refer to both kinds of studies which corroborate your research results or which are in contrast to your research results then you should also give your own viewpoint if you are simply referring to other studies that means please remember that if you are simply referring to other studies that means you are highlighting research studies of other authors only no it is your work you are the hero in this story so you must talk about your work you must analyze you must talk about your work only not only uh, referring to already published work then you must link your research uh, results to the research questions then this is especially you know in science uh, 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 research students use lot of graphs figures and images to substantiate their research findings so they are uh, they should be given properly caption should be used figures must uh, uh, figures and figures should catch the eyes deliver information effectively figures because figures are stars writing and formatting figures tips for content of a legend it should be there should be a title title should tell the readers this is what the figure is about but please ensure that you keep it short and simple then it should talk about this is especially for science students for the methods limit to include the absolute minimum the results you will need if the title does not state one slide back ma'am please two slides back please yes please yes dear ma'am writing and formulation figures okay ma'am this is the the message or the crux over here is whenever you are uh, referring figures or uh, tables they should be self explanatory it should not be you have just given a graph but some a couple of lines to show that readers understand okay ma'am then after analysis and everything has the discussion part is over then we conclude then generally what happens what do we do you should write what you have said in the preceding paragraphs you may talk about limitation of the work and then suggestions for future research 
all these things are very important you know uh, sometimes what happens uh, uh, a writer writes the full script uh, 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 does everything but uh, you know gives a very sketchy conclusion no no the art is that your conclusion should not be very sketchy it should not give a picture that after working investing hours and hours of work you thought of uh, devoting some time to your household chores no after finishing the manuscript conclusion should you should uh, you know you should invest proper time in writing your conclusion you should write about what you have said in the preceding paragraphs limitation of the work suggestions for future research then acknowledgement is very important because in the initial uh, in the initial when i talked about contributor uh, authorship on contributorship it's important for you to know everybody you cannot you know anybody who helped you in analysis work or anybody who helped you in uh, in uh, proofreading doesn't need to be mentioned in uh, i line rather you can acknowledge him at the end then references are very important and check the target journal for reference style because there are 7000 referencing more than 7000 referencing styles and you must ensure that you have uh, used the right one in which the journal uses then editing and proofreading importance bad layout spelling errors incoherence all these things should be not be there so you should invest some time uh, it should not be that you have done it and immediately you will submit but in at least once your work is over you must invest some time in editing and proofreading and you must uh, you may use make, uh, make use of uh, you know uh, there are journals which provide language editing help too but they charge but then uh, uh, and uh, we are always not in very very, very comfortable to invest uh, money in you know in getting editing help so you must use may make use of softwares which your library offers with the language part must make use of language uh, editing software which your library offers you may go to your library and find out what library what kind of library uh what kind of help your library extends so generally uh, libraries offer uh, uh, grammarly software which helps uh, readers in editing the language it also helps readers in formatting the text and if your uh, library doesn't offer then let me tell you uh, uh, all these software they also they extend free trial facility too so at least you should know about these facilities which are already available which are already in place then only you will be able to make use then use tools to refine your manuscript anti plagiarism tools and you must you know your library offers and then you must also know that these uh, tools for example if your library offers turn it in it has a La language module that means it also the the turn it in tool anti plagiarism tool offers you help with language so this is important thing which you must know and another important thing why should you use anti plagiarism tools because if you are using and you find there is similarity beyond what is permissible then you can again revise and modify your full text or your manuscript before submitting to any journal because let me tell you all journals national and inter journal international journals have incorporated the use of anti plagiarism software that means once you submit your manuscript they will run it through anti plagiarism software and if they are, they find that there is similarity beyond what is permissible they will immediately return your manuscript so all these tools should be made use of then once you have prepared your manuscript in the initial stage you do not know where to submit your journal manuscript because you have to ensure that you you, you submit your manuscript to a reputed journal to a well established journal which which is acceptable uh, by the by the universities then how to find out that then there are tools which are where uh, are available which help you in selecting the right journal for example journal selector this facility is offered by all the publishers like uh, like elsevier taylor and francis and sage and so on and so forth and note basic 
this is a simple facility which helps you for example and note basic if you created an account and you are completely clueless where to submit your manuscript that if you have an account in and note in basic then what will happen if you simply cut paste your abstract in and note basic it will show you tentative or potential journals where you may submit your manuscript so this is very helpful it helps all the researchers in the initial stage it shows you where are the different uh, which are the different uh, journals where you can submit what is their rank what is their impact factor so it really helps and even uh, another facility uh, you know if you are completely clueless where to submit to uh, you can visit this website university grants commission consortium for academic and research ethics it lists the journals and if you find a journal is listed over there in your field you can submit to but so message over here is the take away from this slide is that you must register with this website because once you register then only you will be able to log in and find out the journals of your field this is another facility which helps you in selecting you know your enter keyword and or if, this is another facility which helps you in selecting the right journal for your work manuscript matcher here you just have to cut paste the title and you will be a title and abstract and it will show you Hello. Yes, yes, sir. But I'll just finish. My time is so. Manuscript submission. What are the different uh, steps in 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 uh, involved? Editor who does in house edit uh, in house reviewing first. If he's prepared, you see this is important. First, oh, sure. editor does in house uh, uh, reviewing. Uh, he says he can. Uh, yeah, मुझे काम है. हाँ, I'll stop. Just I'll take a minute. One sorry, minute. sorry, sorry, ma'am. Sorry. This is once it is accepted, then it is sent to peer review. Then edit, edit. Uh, once it is, it's sent for peer review. Then it decides whether the it is accepted or accepted with minor modification or accepted with major modification. Then. um it may be completely rejected then once it is uh, uh, minor modification or major modification then it is sent again to author who makes modifications then again it is sent to the reviewer and once it is accepted then page proofs are given to you and then you can they the publisher copy edits and provides you proof to for your final approval and your article manuscript gets published in case it is not published it is rejected then it is important for you to know even if your manuscript is rejected there is no need to press the panic button because this is part and parcel if you are if you are involved in writing then uh, in, involved in uh, you know in uh, research uh, Uh, if you are conducting research then you are you have uh, you are supposed to report it you are supposed to publish it but if a journal rejects it should not be that you have given up hope you are completely uh, dejected you are completely disappointed no nothing of that sort it's not the end of the whole thing rather once your manuscript is rejected they also give you reasons for it they tell you that it doesn't fit in the scope of the journal or the language was uh, too poor or there was lack of analysis or full data was not provided or conclusion was not in sync with the methodology which you adopted or method was of study was not proper or robust or author instructions were not followed or ethics formalities were not followed because this is very important 
for all of you to know and you must know that every university has an institutional ethics board ethics review board that means before you conduct any research your proposal has to be submitted and you have to get a go ahead from that board so you must have proper approvals, proper for, you must complete proper formalities. Otherwise, sometimes if formalities are not completed, proper approvals are not sought, even then a manuscript is rejected. References were not given properly. So the takeaway from this slide is that even if your manuscript is rejected, they provide you reasons why your manuscript was rejected. So message over here is that once you they provide you the feedback, let me tell you, you can revise your, uh, your manuscript in the light of the feedback which the editor provides you, and you may submit to another journal. Steps after rejection, don't press panic button, don't lose hope, it's very common. Uh, you know, we all get our papers rejected and accepted, so nothing to worry about. You may submit to another journal, read feedback. This is important. Comment seriously, make changes accordingly, submit to another journal. And you know, at times it happens if a journal has rejected your paper, even then you can appeal to the editor. And very often it does happen, then they tell you that, yes, you revise your take considerable time. This is from their language. Take considerable time in revising your paper and submit it as a, as a fresh submission. So this is all. Then this is another thing which I just wanted to tell that your uh, research, as well, when you conduct research, your uh, the research before it gets published, it is evaluated and scrutinized. But then this is also important. Then even after you are published, you are, you are very much under scanner. Your research is under scanner and under scrutiny. Post publication peer review. It's a website, pub peer, which discovers small errors, plagiarism, duplication, or figure manipulation. You see, this is the website. That means it criticizes published research even. You should know about it. Ten rules for structuring paper. Focus your paper on a central contribution. Write for readers who do not know your work. Follow CCC scheme. Optimize your logical flow. Complete story in the abstract. Communicate why the paper matters in the introduction. De uh, deliver the results, give figures to support, discuss how the gap was filled, how your work enhances the boundaries of knowledge, allocate time where it matters. This is what I told. Title, abstract, figures, and outlining, get feedback. Okay. Then another thing, once you get your uh, uh, work published, then it's, it's very, it's not only important to get published, then it's important for you to promote your work. Findability, sharing options, social media mentions. There are different tools where you can share your, or while you're writing an email, you know, under signature, you can share the link to your paper. If you have Facebook, if you are there on Facebook or Twitter, you can share the link. You can create an account on ResearchGate and share your paper details. Or you can, you, I, I, and I'll request all of you to, uh, to, to create an account on, I don't know why the slide doesn't move, but you can create an account on, on Google Scholar, where you will, uh, as you uh, as you get published and as your papers are there online, you will get updated and your profile will be visible. Promotion, link the best, most recent research as an email signature, post on Facebook, post on Twitter. So summing up tips, reading, assimilating, understanding, critical analysis, implementing information, synthesizing, generating your own content. Back, ma'am.
Okay, so I I think uh, uh, Ma'am Manjula Ma'am is there? Manjula Ma'am, okay Ma'am. So uh, thank you Ma'am. I think uh, now I think uh, uh, maybe... Uh, I am so there. Then, yeah. yeah, yeah. I am so there. If you have something then... Uh, yeah, so maybe we'll go for now the question answer Manjula Ma'am? Oh yeah. Yeah, so uh, uh, students of uh, 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 Monroe Ma'am, uh, many yes, students yes. have written uh, some questions uh, for their uh, clarification. So I hope, uh, so maybe we'll give some chance to students to, uh, maybe I will just read the questions and uh, uh, if you have there any questions, they will uh, raise their hand and they will uh, unmute themselves and speak. Otherwise, whatever the question they have written, just I will read it one by one. Uh, so I no, think it will uh, be better. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, so one student, uh, I think, how to identify scholarly journals? Yes, I think this is very important question because in the initial stage when we write, we are at our wits, uh, wits end. We do not know where to start from. We do not know what is the right journal. What is the uh, where, which is the right journal for us to publish in. So uh, I showed one of the slides, UGCKL is where you can uh, register with the website and find out the journals of your uh, field. So this is important for all. This is one way. Second, you must know about these abstracting and indexing databases like Scopus and Web of Science. And you don't have to, and I think uh, your libraries provide access to these databases. Then third, and I think, uh, which I personally consider it's very helpful. For example, when we uh, consult full text paper, then we, uh, uh, for example, you have just downloaded a full text paper, very relevant to your field. Then naturally, if you uh, look at the references and you find that there are journals, child development, uh, out of 40 references, uh, 15 are from child development, 15 are from human development. So all uh, by looking at the references, you can select the journal where to submit. So uh, by looking at the references, one way by knowing about uh, by browsing, uh, abstracting and indexing database like site uh, like Scopus and Web of Science, or by browsing UGC KLS, where, where, where you have to register with them. So I think there are four ways of identifying the core journal of your field. Uh, another question uh, uh, that is there. So uh, one student, I think, is, is it uh, that multiple authored manuscript preferred over the single author manuscript? Uh, three questions are there. No, no, nothing of that kind. Nothing of uh, that kind. It's not that if you submit a journal, uh, submit a manuscript where uh, five authors are in working in collaboration, then, uh, then your manuscript will get published immediately. Uh, uh, whereas if you have authored a manuscript by yourself only, uh, it will be less preferred. Nothing of that kind. As long as your content, as long as your methodology is good and robust, and your work supports or, or your work adds to the existing field of knowledge, your work will be accepted. No preference, no liking, nothing. So uh, each book review considered as a research paper? No, at least as per existing rules uh, in API system, which universities follow, book review does not get any any uh, weightage. So how to respond to the reviewer comments on uh, revising a manuscript you see you you uh, you receive a uh, um, uh, feedback from reviewer you, uh, you don't have to uh, you don't have to press panic button you take them one by one prepare a table one uh, comment then you uh, see how you have you address them uh, if in case you receive 10 review comments, then on my personal experience, I say that out of 10, you will be able to address it. And if you can't, so this is important takeaway. You try to address without losing patience, without losing hope, one by one. In case you feel there are some comments, some uh, uh, observations which cannot be addressed, 
then you are very much in your right you are very much permitted to offer your rebuttal to the editor okay so i think other questions are there niraj niraj kumar is raising his hand niraj is just on mute and you just speak niraj thank you sir niraj on mute yeah, yeah on mute speaker thank you sir ma'am this was wonderful deliberation very insightful uh, i have two questions my first question is that uh what care should i take regarding paraphrasing suppose i take uh, some concepts uh, somewhere which is very insightful and i uh, blend my own experience and language and i just mold that concept is it not ethical or right no i understand that uh, you are uh, your query is not clear ma'am uh, should i repeat it yes i'll request you to uh fine uh, ma'am my question is that uh, what care should i take regarding paraphrasing suppose i uh, get up some concepts good concepts uh, from some insightful article or i blend uh, and i blend my concepts uh, uh, with their my language i change the language then is it not ethical or is it uh, uh, not good My question no, is uh, yes your good your question is relevant and i think it's important for everyone to know to understand your query that means uh, you see you see uh, you say that you have borrowed from some already published author from some already uh, uh, published work you have read it you have understood it and then you have used that concept in your work and with that concept you have added your own views you on own perspective this is what you say right ma'am so and I, right ma'am and i think this is the right way of working there is nothing objectionable in it there is nothing unethical in it the only thing is uh, because we all know that we don't start working abruptly uh, ideas don't fall don't come into our heads from skies we publish uh, we build on already published work but the only thing is if we are uh, I, if i am referring to somebody's work i should give due acknowledgement i should give due attribution that's it nothing unethical about it absolutely nothing unethical about it and we often get such queries and it's important it's relevant for all the participants to understand this query and work accordingly nothing on a tickle about it as long as you are referring to the author in your in text thank you ma'am uh, ma'am excuse me ma'am my second yeah. question is that uh, i usually get uh, it more comfortable to go for a quantitative analysis but it is uh, very difficult and trickless to go for qualitative analysis since i am the uh, scholar belonging to management so i used to uh, get a lot of uh, say instances where i use qualitative analysis like consumer behavior attitude measurement and so on so what is the way uh, to give the right approach to have the right approach regarding qualitative analysis no you know uh, in order to address your query i say there is no one size fits all it's often it's good to uh, use qualitative analysis in some studies and adopt other one in some other studies and in some studies we are also using hybrid mode so to address your query i'll say no single size fits all solution we will use hybrid method in some cases we may use single one so it should not be that we are adhering to you know uh, uh, to one uh, style only for example even we do uh, some kind of uh, you know uh, uh, research reporting because everybody has to do in a university system we use lot of uh, uh, qualitative uh, methods when we are using centrometrics or bibliometric analysis but i think if you do just uh, uh, qualitative analysis only then i think once you do it then you will realize it has its own charm and beauty right so i right. to answer your query all the methods should be adopted at various times in various studies at times we should uh, resort to hybrid mode too thank you ma'am thank you dr dota please unmute yourself and raise your questions yeah uh, yeah uh, thank you madam i am product of jnu farmer student it is very nice to see you and my query is i found many many controversies 
on this articles and research papers and research these dissertations uh, in the modern in the recent times uh, what i would like to ask you this type of sessions preparing manuscript sessions is there any mandatory by ugc to conduct uh, all the universities across the country otherwise otherwise the scholars and the other uh, other others they may not follow some of the some of the uh, mandatory things or the statutory things what you have presented uh, uh, in this uh, session i was very wonder that, that there is very meaningful and resourceful presentation here so you know uh, nowadays libraries and are doing because awareness uh, awareness you know library professionals are supposed to spread awareness even uh, you know even supervisors even teachers need to sensitize their students to the uh, to the to the methods and ways which need to be followed in preparing a manuscript as you know we uh, publications are a mandatory requirement right from the time when you enter as a researcher and right to the time you achieve your uh, professorship and you become a senior professor publication is a mandatory part rather a part and parcel of your uh, career so it has to be you know capacity spreading awareness and capacity building initiatives need to be taken and uh, yeah uh, yes thank you sujata sujata just on mute yourself and uh, speak sujata please good afternoon madam it's a great opportunity to speak to you ma'am namaste ma'am i am here uh, from mumbai i am a research scholar from banasthali vidyapeeth ma'am my question is uh, since one year i have been in this field so i am very new in fact ma'am i wanted to know like how many research gaps should we be addressing if i uh, personally want to do a research on a particular study so how many research gaps at the most should we be taking up again to address that i will say there is no single size you may research gaps may vary uh, you know from study to study and i don't think there is a specific number or cap on it but then you should limit yourselves to i would personally feel to uh, two three or four at the most but i think uh, 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 dr meena ketan is better equipped to address this query yeah asulata uh, i think uh, maybe uh, you think so that is on depend upon your how Uh, you are a PhD MP or a PhD, and also the time availability, the resource availability, and also you talk to your supervisor. I think what Madam suggests is yes, you can go for. So basically, that is the gap, na. So which you want? Basically, if you take one also, that is also good one. So if you can go okay, go beyond that, that is fine. That is not this. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, then. Have a good day. Have a good day. Uh, Priyanka, Priyanka, unmute yourself and speak, Priyanka. Um, good afternoon, ma'am. Priyanka, uh, are you there? Priyanka, unmute yes, yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have unmuted myself. Okay. Uh, Priyanka, good afternoon, Priyanka, sir. Good afternoon, uh, ma'am. Priyanka, be your darshini. Yes, are you sir. There or not? Then, then, Suman. Yes, sir. Suman, you just unmute yourself and see. Suman. I have unmuted. Am I audible, sir? Suman. I am audible, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um. Uh, so, ma'am, my question is: Can we submit the same manuscript uh, simultaneously, or do we have to wait for the reviewers' uh, uh, point of view and uh, them getting back to us? You see, this question is very important for all the participants who are connected right now. And you know, uh, 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 her query is: If you can submit the same manuscript to two journals simultaneously. so i will say a big no and emphatic no you cannot submit it will be unethical it will amount, amount to uh, to violation of proper uh, of, of of you know ethical norms so uh, you have submitted a manuscript you should wait i know at times it becomes too much you know it takes almost 8 uh, uh, to 10 weeks before you get uh, first round of or at least 4 weeks you before you get first round of feedback from the journal but no you cannot submit the same manuscript to two journals simultaneously you should wait for the first journal to respond you should wait if the first journal rejects then only you can submit to another journal so this is ma, uh, this is uh, uh, i think this okay, is, if the same journal ma, if the same I, manuscript is submitted to two journals uh, simultaneously it is considered as a form of malpractice as a as a kind of misconduct 
And let me tell you, when you submit, uh, uh, submit a, upload your manuscript on a portal, then it specifies you have to check the box that this manuscript has not been submitted for consideration to any other journal. So this is this query is very important for all of you to understand. And at the same time, know that you cannot submit the same manuscript to two journals at the same time. Yeah. Uh, then uh, Priyanka, you must unmute yourself, Priyanka. Yes, sir. Uh, Priyanka, am I audible, so sir? Many I questions mean... are there because you have to be very fast. Many yeah, sir. Only two questions. Only talks. two questions. So, uh, uh, Priyanka, okay. unmute yourself. Yes, I have unmuted myself, sir. Priyanka, Priyanka, unmute yourself. Okay. Yes, sir, I am audible already. Is audible, please. Okay. Am I not audible, sir? Ma'am, one question is there. Suppose yes, uh, some Priyanka, please proceed on. Suppose... Yes, sir. Uh, actually, ma'am, I want to ask one important question to you. Uh, suppose there are many, so many Priyanka journals. Are... Suppose there are so many, there she are many uh, audible, journals. Sir. Audible. There are so many uh, journals when you are referring, audible. when you are doing research work, there are so many journals from which we are taking reference. But uh, we should know which journal is applicable, which journal is good for us because of language, because of uh, mode of how to present. So which journal is more, um, can give knowledge about how to write a journal or how to write a research work. So that we can write it in a way that is most um, presentable to everyone. So can you just give a guidance? I'm not able to hear. So, ma'am, are you uh, able to yes, understand what audible. I'm saying, ma'am? You are yes. asking which is the right journal for you? Uh, yeah, matlab, uh, there are so many journals to refer. But yes. uh, sometimes it happens that uh, so many languages there are problem, very, very high prone language or very high uh, techniques. So which journal? Uh, by selecting journal, when you are getting, you are selecting journal and keeping in a folder. So before, which after, then we Which refer. field are you in? Which field uh, are you I'm in? I'm in management, ma'am. Management. management. HR. So I, HR. Uh, HR. Okay, human resources. No problem. I think if you feel that there are certain journals very, you know, language-wise, you will find them very... Uh, uh, on the higher end, if you find, no problem. In order to address your query, I'll say uh, Emerald journals, if you consult, they are language-wise, they are okay. And uh, the methodology or the uh, test which they use or the quantitative uh, research which they report, I think it's good enough. Uh, I think it's intelligible, it's understandable. You can easily relate to them. So to start with, you can start with Emerald Journals. Emerald has considerable Emerald. number of management journals. Emerald. Uh, Emerald, E-M-E-R-A-L-D. And I think your yes. university is already providing access to Emerald Journals. Yeah. Uh, Atul, Atul, yeah. Atul Tiwari, if Thank you me. have questions, Thank just you. unmute yourself and speak. Atul Tiwari. Atul Tiwari. Uh, hello. Uh, yeah, speak. Uh, uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, I want uh, one question. I am doing research from GB Pan Social Science Institute. Uh, my question is, ma'am, uh, what is the right uh, methodology of, uh, in my field uh, of research? Uh, I am doing research now on uh, mythological geography of the region and its surroundings. Uh, please suggest me, uh, I want to write uh, a paper in uh, the UGC Referral Journal. Uh, which uh, <clears throat> research methodology is useful for me? Uh, case study method or uh, participant observation method? Yeah, or, or both. Please tell me. You see, you are working in geography and you uh, uh, want to know. Mythical geography, ma'am. Physical geography. Mythical geography. Mythical geography. Yeah. Uh, mythical geography have been watching the baby and its surroundings in Mirzapur. Ha ha ha. So, okay. So you want to know if observation method or case study is okay for you. Maybe it, it uh, you know, it's uh, uh, no blanket recommendation can be given right now. You know, you have to see what your study is all about. So you can make, uh, you can either select uh, one or the other and conduct your study. Yeah. 
and uh, before conducting uh, for example if you are uh, undertaking field trip or going for participants uh, method or observation method then before uh, venturing into it you can you know it's advisable uh, because you must be associated with the supervisor you must be reporting to him and telling him updating him with uh, regard to what work you are doing so it's in the fitness of things that you consult because every you you cannot say this method is perfectly fine and this is completely erroneous you know there are side downsides and upsides there are advantages and disadvantages of a particular for example if i am you know if i am in jnu and i uh, you know there are so many dhabas on it and you know then there are certain limitations for example if i try to uh, see the behavior of people coming to ganga dhaba and i th- i decide no i'll be following observation method so what does it mean i'll be sitting for 24 hours over there no because then method has to be selected according to the resources according to the time all these parameters are important you and um, i think my message is clear because you yeah. cannot select uh, one uh, abruptly you have to see p's you have to see q's what are the downsides in what time research has to be completed what are the resources which you have so all these aspects have to be taken into consideration and in the initial stage it's better it's in the fitness of things to consult it ma'am one question yeah. then maybe i will invite pradeep Uh, so one question is uh, from the student that uh, he said that uh, i will submit some journals uh, one article and uh, and this those uh, journals for publication and any publication if the journal is not published in their in the particular journal so there is a chance of uh, maybe using this article by the any other persons uh, so is there any possibility for that suppose if i am submitting for the journals any journal say journals so yes. though it is not published but they are uh, using that journal from other uh, maybe any other people are using that journals published for in other journals so you have any i do not so for example if you submit to a journal say uh, say uh, you know a fla journal so say some say journal where your uh, journal uh, manuscript does not get accepted so but why will it get uh, if it is not accepted they may give you suggestions they may give you reasons why it is being rejected why it is being declined so you can revise it and submit it to some other journal what is uh, the problem no he is telling that uh, maybe uh, this journal suppose i am submitting to say journals so these says people maybe within the says people people are there they can publish the uh, use this whatever the material i have written so they will publish in their names is there any possibility no, no, of that no 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 nothing of this kind this is it doesn't happen you know if i am submitting a manuscript to sage and if they don't publish my manuscript as, uh, under the name of manorma tripathi then what do you want you, you, uh, you want me to permit them to publish my manuscript under their name no no this doesn't happen anywhere under the sun this is completely unethical yeah yeah pradeep you just unmute pradeep pradeep unmute pradeep choudhury sorry chakravarti yes uh, thank you madam yes uh, madam namaste this pradeep. is a very nice session yes acha yes sir Janmaja. speaking 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 janmaj i unmute yourself speaking sir yes sir speaking. he is speaking sir I am speaking, but I am not able to hear. That is the problem. Madam, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Uh, so, madam, thank you. Is my first of all, you take take my deep sense of regards. So, this is a very informative and is insightful season indeed. I would like to ask you uh, some uh, basic questions. I am in the field of engineering, which is scholar. So, uh, madam, could you uh, give me some light about the categorization of Uh, the, uh, the journal that is uh, SCI, ESCI, or uh, Scopus. How, wh- what they actually mean, and uh, what is the, their level of 
for what it is could you throw yes, some light yes, on i'll do it i'll do it you you are a research scholar from the field of engineering and you want yes, to know what is scopus so it is uh, you are a research scholar from engineering and uh, scopus does uh, uh, cover uh, journals from engineering as well and it's very important for you to know that scopus is a is an indexing and a citation database that means it provides access to abstract level of all all the journals and it also provides citations and how are index uh, how are journals indexed in scopus that means any and every journal whatever is published in engineering from india doesn't get indexed in scopus that means doesn't get included in scopus so let okay. me tell you and it's important for all uh, participants to know that scopus uses some 24 criteria for evaluating journals for scrutinizing journal for scrutinizing journals before they are included before they are indexed in scopus okay okay so and uh, what about uh, asia uh, janmajay madam janmajay on mute madam, yourself and speak uh, yes ma'am yes please uh, ma'am ma my question is sir uh, what is uh, how i know my work is done not done before and uh, through google scholar or any other search engine i no, know see, that my work is not done yeah you see i'll say the right place to start your research work is from uh, from uh, uh, scopus or web of science uh, 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 because these are uh, these are standard site uh, in extracting and uh, citation databases and they they cover most of the things which have been uh, done in the field and then if you want to know uh, you know uh what has already been the, whether your uh, what you are reporting in your research has already been done or not you can how many of you know about shodh ganga it's a national repository of thesis full text thesis submitted to indian universities so it's advisable to to browse uh, the uh, to browse the repository where you can find out about the published research of the about the trends of your field Yes. So show the different uh, extracting and citation databases, and then uh, 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 IEL online. All these databases are the right places to start your work from if you are an engineer or okay, if you are from any field. Because uh, Scopus and Web of Science, they are multidisciplinary in nature. That means they cover subject areas. They cover journals from various subject areas. Okay, then Pradeep Bhushan. And Madam, Pradeep, uh, Madam, uh, uh, what about SCI? Could you tell us about uh, SCI? Yes, SCI. SCI. That is no, SCI. Okay. SCI okay. journals okay. or ESCI so, uh, journals. Could you? Many other questions are there from the comment box. I read. I think uh, I will take two, three questions. Uh, uh, they, they, someone is asking that uh, uh, every time UGC KR list journal changing in every day. how to select a best ugc kr journals you see every day it's not uh, uh, you know it's not uh, uh, it's not changing yeah of course it's uh, uh, dynamic and it should be because what happens there are predatory journals they come up and many uh, you know they are predatory journals so in case a predatory journal gets in indexed in uh, you know ugc kls so that is why it is being kept it is being revised and it's updated so that whatever quality journals are there should be there in ugc kls so once if you find that uh, the, its source uh, dynamic that is is changing uh, daily almost on a daily basis which as per my understanding highly unlikely but to be doubly sure what you can do if you find a particular title is there in ugc kls you can check once again if it's there in scopus and web of science i think that would be the best way to check uh, someone has written is it mandatory to publish on all Publishing yeah. material. It is mandatory to publish. Publish materials. It, it is. Uh, how can you pub? No, publishing something which is already published. Yeah. Is is not. Uh, it was not like that, ma'am. It was actually the question was posed by me. 
uh, it was uh, almost it uh, through your presentation uh, all the doubts and confusions have been already cl cleared i uh -huh. think time was very less for uh, the speaker of your kind uh, time should have okay, been more then, okay so uh, many the question was like this agar hum already jaise aapne bola tha ek jagah pe ye mandatory ye zaruri hai ki already jo publish hua hota hai material us pe hum research scholars ko dekhna hota hai to get uh, to get some idea about our own yes, research yes. so maine yes, isme yes. uh, this was this, that was uh, uh, resp I, uh, my response to that uh, very point kya ye zaruri hai is it mandatory sometimes what we do uh, suppose i am doing an observation study in my area yes. of study i'm uh, i uh, i'm kaiser abdul sufi i work on tribal education i am from kashmir ha bilkul bilkul so uh, agar main uh, observation basis pe koi study kar raha hu aur mere paas previous information hai if i have a, uh, experiential uh, learnings i have experience of working with ngos for uh, children uh, in, a, in a similar context तो ये जरूरी है क्या क्या मैंडेटरी है मतलब ऑल्दो इट्स वेरी मच नीडेड वी हैव टू गो थ्रो डिफरेंट पब्लिकेशंस डिफरेंट स्कॉलरली आर्टिकल्स बिफोर वी मूव इनटू रिसर्च बट क्या मैंडेटरी है ये वही में मेरा क्वेश्चन पॉइंट था मैम नहीं नहीं इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एवरीवन टू अंडरस्टैंड योर क्वेरी यू आर वर्किंग इन द फील्ड ऑफ ट्राइबल एजुकेशन एंड यू आर फॉलोइंग ऑब्जर्वेशन मेथड नो Yes, yes, yes. Partly, I am uh, working. Uh, I am, I am following mixed methodology, and I am yes. using participant observations also there. Uh, okay. Predominantly, thank you. Oh, pre predominantly, you are using pa participant observation. Yes. So, yes. okay, you, uh, if you are conducting a research by using all these methods, then if you are reporting it, then naturally you will refer to what is already published, no? Send in that, and then you will write how your work extends the boundaries of what what has already been reported. So you are going to refer to what is already published, and how does your work is innovative? Yes, yes, yes. I am, I am, I am hearing, ma'am. Yes, that it adds to it extends to the. नहीं नहीं मेरा मेरा पॉइंट था मैम इनिशियल कंटेक्ट पे जब हम पहले रिसर्च स्टार्ट करते हैं मतलब वो तो लास्ट में मुझे जब कंक्लूड करना है अपना स्टडी वो तो जाहिर सी बात है मेरे लिए जरूरी है आई हैव टू गो थ्रू ऑल द स्टडीज जो जैसे आपने दिखाया वो कंट्रास्ट कहाँ पे कोरोबरेट कैसे करते हैं हम वो तो जरूरी है एंड अपना व्यू पॉइंट कहाँ पे आता है क्या नई कोई थ्योरी आती है सामने या कई थ्योरी जो है वो रिफ्यूट होती है कहीं पे पॉइंट Yeah, whether I am raising arguments against a previous author, yeah, previous scholars, yeah, previous jo philosophers, yeah, unki jo arguments pe me kya unko me unke saath ja raha hu ya unke kahi pe unse thoda sa hatke ja raha hu. Lo, wo to aayega, wo to zahir si baat hai. Lekin pehle jo ham lete hai, apne wahan pe point ek kaha tha. Maybe I I heard it like that. Ki published jo jo documentaries hai, published articles hai. क्या वो जरूरी पहले से ही आ, हमें आ, पहले ही हमें उनको वी हैव टू मेक देम जैसे कि इतना वी हैव टू फॉलो दोस्ट थिंग्स वही मैंने यू डोंट हैव टू फॉलो बट यू नीड टू नो अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट द बैकग्राउंड जी 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 दैट विल हेल्प यू इन नेविगेटिंग वे अहेड इन अ मोर इन अ बेटर एंड स्मूथ मैनर This is what I meant by. Or my, 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 both sorry questions, ma'am. Thee, but all, almost all the questions were uh, cleared, na? Through okay. your uh, such a wonderful presentation, I was first of all I was thinking that you will not discuss all these things in detail. But you have discussed it in detail. Then I thought that it was very little time for you. Because you have to go so fast. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, okay, otherwise, you. it was very interesting. Happy yes, sir, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, other class questions. Yeah, you just any other any question? Yeah, Kim. Uh, good afternoon, sir, and good afternoon, ma'am. Um, I I just want to ask a question which I am facing right now. So, uh, ma'am, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. So, um, I've just switched on. Okay. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, so the problem that I am facing right now is, um, I want to study on some particular tribe that is, you know, marginalized and they are very, you know, few in population. Maybe around only some hundreds. 
So the thing is, um, they say that no, uh, since there are no studies done on that, how will you study that? that particular tribe because there are no previous studies done on that. So in that case, no, we are doing studies only based on those subjects which are already have been studied. So how, how to do with that? I mean, no, uh, right? I think, yes, yeah, this is an important query and I think it's important for all the participants. You are doing research, you want to study a marginalized uh, tribe uh, and nobody has worked on that. Yes, yes so uh, then uh, it's very good that you are uh, touching uh, an area where nobody has worked, but then nobody has nobody has worked on that particular tribe. But some, but there must be studies which must have focused on not directly on the same tribe, but some other tribes. So you can at least refer to those studies, but then you can yes, talk. That as per your understanding, as per your survey, no other, uh, uh, no other author has published work or nobody has studied this, uh, this particular tribe. This particular tribe has not received attention uh, from the researchers and you are going to study and spotlight their problems and their, uh, find uh, solutions for their problems. So I think this, was, this, would, this would be an innovative, a wonderful work in itself. Yes, okay. ma'am. Because now all the feedbacks that I get is, um, how will you do the review of literature? No, no, and, no. no, no. Okay. You can tell that you are uh, naturally uh, studies on that particular tribe uh, are not there. But then related areas are there. And then yes, when you tell, you mention that this is, uh, uh, this has not received attention, this has not been researched upon. I think there is no problem. This is a topic good enough to be worked on. Okay, so yeah. I think I will take Thank many co many other questions are there. I think I will take last one question. So uh, anyone who is there, many other questions are written in the chat box. Good, up. so good afternoon. Take... Uh, good afternoon, Manorma, ma'am. I am Pradeep. I am a research scholar from GD Ganka University. I just want to know, ma'am, uh, uh, what is the best uh, journal to uh, to get published for my work, ma'am, in the education field? Prominent, from where we I can get the feedback uh, in uh, very less time, ma'am. No, no, nobody can guarantee that. Let me tell you, nobody will guarantee that. There are education, there are state journals, there are Taylor and Francis journals. They are all good journals. Even there are some Indian journals too. But no journal will guarantee you that they will publish you in very less time. And let me tell you and let me warn you and let me cautious all of you that if a journal warn, tells you that they will give you acceptance within four to five days and publish within four, four to six weeks, then, then let me tell you that there is something shady involved in it and it's a predatory journal and you need to be alert, you need to be watchful. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, so I think uh, many, maybe, so I request, uh, I think many questions are in the chat box. So I think uh, I will share my Manorama ma'am email ID. So whatever the questions that you have, you will just write to Manorama ma'am. I hope Manorama ma'am will yes, address uh, Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, 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 I'll yeah. be more than happy to address all the queries yeah. through email. Okay, okay. So yes. I think uh, now may I request Manjula ma'am to hand over. Yes, yes. Yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah, ma'am, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Very, very fruitful and very good session, madam. The interaction was so nice. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I am very much thankful to you, madam. I need actually another session from your end. I can request oh. you on this platform. I, we need one more session from your end so that the uh, information the people have uh, received today, they'll be able to apply. So, uh, thank you, madam. Thank you, the convener, sir. Minaketan, sir. Very nice uh, mother, proposal, very nice presentation, and very nice interaction. So, in total, I am very happy for organizing this session today. So, in uh, next month, uh, let's discuss, sir. Let, madam, let's discuss and decide whether we'll go for the second session from your end or uh, whatever. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, uh, I think uh, Chinmay, so I think many people have requested, if possible, ma'am, 
uh, they have written that uh, one option the recording and the uh, recording we can share but uh, if possible if you permit us then uh, they have demanding requesting the ppt if possible yes uh, yes i'll uh, share, I'll share. Yes. Yeah, we will do on this needful uh, so i think uh, uh, it was uh, really really i have no words uh, to express uh, my feeling uh, yes 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 so chinmay chinmay there and uh, no chinmay chinmay is not there so uh, so you have, you have to wind up yeah so who is then who is uh, so i think uh, which other there ah uh, mino uh, will you collect feedback so then uh, i think will you uh, in my okay so no, uh, uh, i think uh, on uh, i should give uh, so nakitan am i audible to please those who are i think attending this uh, uh, this uh, class today so i i know today is sunday uh, so how can i request uh, manrama ma'am that uh, i have no words that uh, you see sunday everyone is busy you know university so yeah. man is busy from uh, monday to friday saturday so all the official work and you know the position she holds but without one call uh, so ma'am is agree to uh, give on this uh, lecture on this topic and it is very very interesting and very very useful to everyone including me so many times we do not know many things so i think i should give uh, i have no words to give thanks to monra ma'am uh, for agreeing us uh, to give lecture for this platform so maybe uh, in your near future so we will take your help and also your guidance your blessing uh, to uh, for the benefit of our uh, this future generation the carry forwards because they are our strength so yes. uh, with i think uh, uh, with this motive uh, so we are conducting a different uh, uh, e workshop on this platform for the benefit of our student and the today's lecture is really really very informative very interesting very useful yet for everyone okay so maybe in near future also we will try our best to uh, request manura ma'am as uh, manjura ma'am requested so we will definitely conduct a different program on this platform uh, so i i i i i also here to explain that uh, manura ma'am is conducting different training program in our uh, university in jnu uh, in the library platform so many times in one month you will find different programs are there so you explore that opportunity please uh, so use that opportunity at least uh, 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 for your research work uh, so i think uh, uh, so i have uh, thanks manra ma'am for giving us this 3 uh, hours in this sunday i understand it is really difficult uh, to give time sunday uh, so uh, though i know the time schedule and the way she handle everything okay so i have, i am very thankful so on behalf of our uh, this indivegan uh, sansad and the moga uh, so i welcome uh, i i give my uh, thanks uh, for giving us the time and also for, to the participant uh, i think uh, so those who are here uh, so i think uh, because because of the program is only for you so i hope uh, that 100% uh, i am sure that uh, you got some benefit of this uh, 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 this uh, training program so i understand that time is constraint people have written that uh, they have time constraint so definitely whatever the questions that you have you just uh, try to write manura ma'am or write to me so we'll try our best to address that concern okay regarding this uh, maybe we are thinking of uh, taking this attendance uh, sorry and also we are thinking of uh, providing the certificate uh, so maybe so i will uh, think on that i will work on that and uh, those uh, for this attendance tracker we have so we will uh, i think uh, we'll provide and we'll do this needful so uh, i think this is from my inside uh, uh, if uh, manjura ma'am if you want to say something or uh, Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, actually, I want to say you that any feedback, so, मतलब थोड़े invite feedback for feedback. Uh, yes, I think because think the participants are uh, yes interested yes, to give their feedback, so yes, you should invite their feedback. Yeah. yeah.
if any student want to say something few words about this uh, uh, lecture so you are most welcome yeah. unmute yourself and speak hi this is deepak uh, it's yeah. a wonderful session uh, like to i would like to follow Mon uh, monorama ma'am for the future lectures as well so is there any forum where we can got all such uh, invitations or we will come to know that yes this session is scheduled on this date it would be great grateful to us yeah yeah we will do that we will take exactly, care of that. exactly. Uh, any other student or any other participant yes sir this is uh, dr krishna yes speak yeah it's 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 wonderful session i have seen i have seen in the face of madam the jnu library <laughs> Uh, the people who participated very active, and their response to this session, it's wonderful. I hope I request Madam to conduct this type of sessions in the university across the country to gain knowledge and enhance their abilities to writing the articles and put their innovations to run this nation. This is my humble request. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes, uh, anyone? One anyone? more, one more, one more. Yeah. Good afternoon, sir, ma'am. It was really very, very nice uh, presentation, actually, and it, it uh, let us gain so many insights regarding the research process. And uh, yes, I will also request you to uh, uh, provide such kind of uh, presentations or seminars in uh, other universities or other virtual platforms so that many more research scholars can get uh, insights about this process. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, Manorama. Madam is on mute. Yeah. Uh, why you want to say something? Thank you, thank you very much for extending me this opportunity and I really mm -hmm. had a wonderful uh, interaction with the students and I also learned a lot in return and best wishes to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. It is uh, time to wind up. I also join. Um, you know, thank you very much, ma'am, for this wonderful session. Thank you so much, ma'am, for this wonderful session. So our thanks are due to Manorama, madam, uh, Professor Mina Kitan Behira, Dr. Manjula Munjari Mahapatra, and all of you who could make this event eventful. So it's so nice of you. Every month, first Sunday, it's the activity of MOGA Education Council. So those who are in the WhatsApp group, uh, they are being informed. Those who are interested to join, to remain updated, they can also join on invitation. And the next month, we have also fixed what is to be done. Uh, we are calling, uh, inviting a scientist of repute who has worked with uh, Dr. Kalam, Vikram Sarabhai and Ivar Rao uh, to share what could be the transformative actions in the field of education. So that will also be on the same time, but that will be lecture followed by discussion. So it will be really wonderful to have him. And today's, uh, once again, we we thank uh, Ma Manorama Madam because she could find time for this program. And before we wind up, uh, let us do some Tipatha. Uh, I am doing on your behalf. Sarvi Bhavantu Sukhinah, Sarvi Bhavantu Nirame, Sarvi Bhavantu Nirame, Ma Kaschet Kupakit, Om Asatoma Sadkamaya, Tamasoma Jukumika, Rittyur Maam Amritam Ramaya, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. May I request the chairperson, uh, Dr. Manjula Manjari Mahapatra, to announce the end of today's uh, program and if uh, some queries were there uh, regarding certificate all these things uh, the convener uh, dr manu minaketa behra has already uh, hinted 
that we are trying to give feedback don't impose anything on us where this is purely a voluntary platform we are trying if possible it will be given and uh, we will verify the registration and we will verify the attendance uh, so simply attending for five minutes ten minutes doesn't deserve to be given a set that, that doesn't merit uh, to issue a certificate uh, so we will do it on our side so but we'll stay in touch Thank you yeah. so much. So, yeah, so, yeah, one thing, uh, I think, uh, just one before Manoja, ma'am, uh, uh, yeah. maybe, yes, I will provide, uh, we are just uh, regarding the certificate, uh, so I am working on it. Uh, so I will just check it, all these things, and uh, for those who are present uh, on the basis of the attendance record, so I will, uh, maybe I'm working on it, I will provide this e certificate. And also, whatever, uh, uh, I have already shared a link uh, in this chat box, so those who are inter uh, interested on this uh, uh, to join in this group, so you please join uh, the, just the link that is given. You just click on that and you join on this WhatsApp group. So whatever the program that we have, so we'll share. We'll share it. Okay. So we are working on it. Uh, definitely, we'll try our best to benefit of our students. Okay. So Manjula, ma'am, last word. Yeah. Sir, sir, I have one query. I am attending. Uh, two uh, previous uh, session, but I got not a single certificate. Yes, uh, Puja, you listen. Our motive is not to give the certificate. Please, huh? Yes, our sir. Motive, sir. I, I understand, sir. I understand, please, sir. Please, 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 but please. I just uh, yeah. Our from my is, point of view. Our motive yeah. is that, yes. and Puja, you listen. That even this time we have not promised to give you certificate. Okay, we are not charging anything. And we are just trying that knowledge or college to the target group. That is the best, the best objective, the, the uh, main important objective of this program. So certificate register, and all those things are peripheral things. You will be given the YouTube link, all these things. You can use it. And you have got the link of the resource person. So be satisfied with all these things because this is not a platform. There are universities, research institutes, they are offering and they have their modalities. So probably those certificates are more valuable. So you can do that. But uh, considering the request of so many MPhil and PhD scholars, that uh, certificates are needed uh, for their, uh, you know, while presenting their thesis, submitting their thesis, exactly. they are asked that how many conferences have been attended by you, how many workshops have been attended by you. So in that time, it is helpful. Therefore, we are considering that we should be of some use to all of you, but do not impose and nothing, no certificate can be given from the backlog. So this program, it may, we are trying to do for this program and with effect from this program, if possible. Okay, so be okay. patient okay. and find Yeah, okay. yeah. Sir. Thank you very much, sir. I'm just uh, telling yeah. my side. Sir. Yeah, I understand, Puja. No problem. We'll try. We'll try. Yes, uh, sir. We'll sir, just a request. Okay, Manoram, I just a request. So. Uh, we can do these discussions after them. Let it be formally ended. Uh, I invite Manjula, madam, sir. to uh, announce the end of the program. Then we'll stay for five, ten minutes to have further interaction. Madam, please. Manorama is, uh, I think, Chitabai, you just, uh, I think, you, Manorama is uh, network, Miss, maybe.